So in the recent video I have asked you guys if you would like to see a review regarding the two new ve vehicles, one of them being the VCAC Mephisto and the second one being the BTR80 and I gotta say to you guys the support I have seen for recent videos regarding this kind are absolutely insane. Anyway guys in today's video I will be showing you two of these new vehicles, I'll be kind of damage testing how good they are but I'll also be showing you guys how durable they are and I'll also give you guys some gameplay on on how it actually goes by literally going into any random lobby and playing around with it. However, I gotta say one thing that's gonna keep you watching. It's the VCAC Mephisto. It's probably one of the best vehicles in the game, probably ranked at top 5. And I'll explain you guys in today's video also why. So let's just jump right into it. Alright, so here we are into War Tycoon. The daily rewards are currently available and yes, I have everything in this. So I'm not gonna be making any purchases. And in the meantime, as I'm making my way to this, I actually got a spin and I know for a fact I'm not gonna get anything and by the way I have spent 6,000 robux on these to try get the AWP recently and I've gotten absolutely nothing and I'm actually very pissed about this anyway I'm gonna skip here again of course I didn't get anything I just wasted my time anyway so the two vehicles which we have in this new update let me explain to you guys very quickly what they do the BTR-80 is a Russian APC with driver controlled turrets it is two bars out of speed three bars out of health and two bars out of firepower and it can carry up to six people it of course has an explosive machine gun and a normal machine Gun. So this is the first thing which we're gonna be checking out and do not have the highest expectations on the BTR by the way guys Because this vehicle is not something that's supposed to surprise you much But it's supposed to be just a clear bonus in the game So here we are let me just get out of this vehicle by the way the opening is actually very cool Let me quickly turn on the volume so here we have it the opening is really cool I know do really like how this opens and closes but anyway this is the overall design of the vehicle Let's see if there's any interior inside because I haven't used this vehicle at all because I wanted to save it for today's video so this is kind of the interior and honestly they have done a great job on the interior and I mean it's not super realistic But it's pretty damn good if I'm gonna be honest. So let's see what weapons it actually has now Oh, yeah, and it also has a hatch at the um, On the top. All right So what this vehicle can do is actually in fact I'm gonna check in on this guy right here to show you guys what this vehicle can do So this guy was literally stealing a parts from someone else's base. Let's go to this guy and kill him All right, so this is the machine gun and ah, that's pretty good actually. This is actually a pretty good machine gun. Alright, so basically, this uh, explosive machine gun, I'm gonna explain you guys exactly how good it is. So really, it's not the best in terms of uh, fighting other vehicles. It's kind of like the Guardian. It's meant to be a support unit. So pretty much, as you guys can see, I'm currently gonna fire up my shield. And it's not really the best, if I'm gonna be completely honest. It barely does any damage. And its second um, weapon, which is the machine gun, is also not too good. As you guys can see right here, it actually likes to run out very quickly. So it's not gonna be the most helpful. And by by the way, Kizmotek has promised us that this vehicle will also be amphibious. Oh god, somebody's attacking me. Hold on. Let me try to get out this vehicle and hit it with the RPG to show you guys um, how durable it is, in fact, if I can get out of it. I believe it can tank up to two RPG shots and two javelin shots, and I'm actually not that, uh, not that happy about this. And the reason being is just because this vehicle has three bars out of health, however, it can only tank two RPG shots, where uh, the boxer can now tank uh, three, which is, I guess, way better, but the Guardian can also tank two. So I believe for such a unique vehicle, it being able to die by two RPG shots is not really the best option. Anyway, I'm gonna get out another one, and I'm going to test with the Javelin if it's any better. Also, I just got nuked. Alright, so we are right back. Of course, I had to get nuked for absolutely no reason, so I had to quickly hop into a private server. So let me get in this vehicle and now test the Javelin damage, which I also believe is gonna get two-shotted by the Javelin. But again, that's kind of just my prediction. And really, for three bars out of health, I'm a little bit disappointed because I think this vehicle... Sh oh! Oh, okay! Alright, hold on here. This vehicle only took one third of its health from this Javelin. Let me go from more from back because I do not believe that to be accurate. That is actually a huge change. Let's see, can it tank three or two? All right, looks like this vehicle is going to be able to tank two to three. On average, it's probably going to be two. However, three is also possible if the player is going to be next to you. That is actually really good, and I'm kind of surprised with this. Anyway, and the next vehicle which we have on this list is going to be the VCAC Mephisto. It is the French anti-tank 
combat vehicle. It is three barrels of the speed, two barrels of the health, and two out of firepower. Let's just jump right into it without making it any longer for you guys. Let's see this vehicle. I have a lot of information to share with you guys regarding this vehicle, and there is, in fact, a lot to say. So here we have it. I'm gonna get out of it and show you guys quickly the interior. The doors are actually very small, and this is a kind of small vehicle, and I really like the... Uh, let's see if it has any interior. Not much. Okay, so let's show you guys exactly what it does. It has a smoke screen, which is good for avoiding javelins. However, its main power, once again, is its horribly, insanely good speed. By the way, I didn't mean horribly. I'm just kidding. But the speed of this and the acceleration of this vehicle is actually insane. The acceleration rate is better than probably most vehicles I have seen in this game. So, its main power, once again, is how powerful it is in terms of being able to destroy shields, but also destroy tanks and every single vehicle in this game. So, right as we are into it, the main strength of this vehicle is, in fact, it's, of course, uh, missiles, and they work exactly the same as the Bradley missiles. They are not lock-on, however, they do a bit less damage than the Bradley missiles do, and I re really think this vehicle is going to get nerfed, because what I'm about to show you right now is absolutely insane. So, jumping right into the damage, test this vehicle is actually insane so first up what we're going to be starting up with is going to be an mi-24 hind as as you guys can see on the screen right now it is able to one shot an mi-24 hind which is not flying now jumping into another vehicle which we have is going to be the a10 warthog and it is also able to one shot the a10 warthog which is even more insane because it kind of works like the bradley missiles and it's super powerful because you can have up to four of them the next vehicle which we're going to be going into is going to be the f-35 and oh my days it is actually able to also one shot the f-35 on the ground and now, here is a little bit of information which I have for you guys. It is gonna be able to two-shot vehicles while they are flying in the sky, such as, of course, the F-35 and the A-10 Warthog. So they are two-shot in the sky, however, they are one-shot on the ground. And now, jumping right into the tanks, as you guys can see right here, I'm going to be using this on the Abrams X. By the way, as you guys have asked, I will be reviewing the next four weapons in the video tomorrow, so make sure to subscribe with the notification bell on to not miss out any more videos just like this one. Anyway, continuing into today's video. Alright, so let's have another go with this. Let's see how well I'm gonna do this time. Let me just quickly kill this. I know it's definitely gonna... It's probably has to one-shot, right? Did that one-shot it? No, but it left on very low health. Again, it is good for all the vehicles in this game. Alright, so here is another, another person that's in the middle with the Apache. Let's, let's see if I can kill him. But it's definitely going to be very difficult to snipe this guy. Oh! Let's try another one. There it goes! There is the shot! As I said to you guys, this is a very good vehicle and I was able to one-shot this guy, I believe, because I believe one of these missiles did not hit, however, the second one was able to hit very easily. I'm actually very proud of this kill. Anyway guys, this is the showcase of these two vehicles. I hope that you guys are satisfied with the showcase. The VCAC, I definitely recommend spending a lot of time waiting until level 30 to finally be able to unlock it. It's definitely gonna be worth it because it's both good for anti-tank, anti-air, anti-ground, anti-even freaking anything guys. I definitely recommend it. Anyway guys, that'll be it now. See you guys in the next video. Have a great rest of your day.